to African Horror Stories. If you're ever walking alone at night and you hear a baby crying in the bushes, or anywhere that a baby should not really be to be honest, you might be tempted to take a peek and perhaps rescue whatever child has been left there. Well, by the end of today's story, you might reconsider doing that and just run the other way instead. This is because anyone in Nigeria will tell you that following that sound will most likely lead to your death. Today's story is one of the most popular boarding school stories, right up there with Lady Kwe Kwe. In fact, this combo absolutely terrified students for years. I'm talking about the one and only Bush Baby. And I will tell you about my first experience with this monster. Now, we had all heard bits and pieces of stories about the Bush Baby. I mean, it was impossible as a kid in Nigeria to not hear about them. These stories seem to be the one thing that all your older friends and relatives, you know, your brothers, cousins, anyone who went to boarding school always came back with. So by the time it was our turn to start the secondary experience in boarding school, we were already beyond terrified. We knew what to expect. So armed with these stories and promises to never leave our rooms after dark, my friends and I all said our goodbyes as we left for our different schools. Now what or who is this bush baby? Let me break down the story real quick. The bush baby is a short hairy monster that had the voice of a newborn baby and the nose of a rat. This creature apparently walks on its hind legs and always carries a mat under its arm. Now the first part of the story goes that the bush baby hides in the bushes and cries like a baby to lure innocent students, hence the name. Any student who follows the sound and stumbles upon the creature will never be heard from again as they will be violently killed. The second part of the story says that anybody who can steal the mat from the bush baby will end up extremely rich. But of course, it's not that easy. In order for you to get the wealth, the person is to survive seven days of attacks from a very angry bush baby as it tries to get its mat back. These attacks are non-stop and mean that the thief cannot sleep. Anyone who gives up before the seven days are up will be killed very violently. Another thing to note is that the bush baby cannot be physically defeated unless the opponent is completely naked. So anyone who decides to take that chance, well, that's on them. I have no idea where the bush baby came from. But from the version of the story that I was told, there was once a boarding school student who ended up pregnant and in order to avoid expulsion, she hid the pregnancy. One day, when everyone else was out of their rooms, she put a metal hanger between her legs, pulled out the fetus, and flung it into a nearby bush. Months later, the students in the room woke up to the sounds of a crying baby coming from the bushes. One student decided to get up and go check it out. Her body was recovered, completely torn to pieces. Now, with all this information, you would think students had learned their lessons, right? Wrong. My first week of boarding school, on a Thursday night to be precise, I was woken up by my very frightened bunkmates. It took a few seconds for my eyes to adjust, but when they did, I noticed that almost everybody else in the dormitory were awake. Some were visibly shaken. And then I heard it. It was faint, but it was definitely there the sounds of a baby's cries drifting in through the window. No one said its name, but we all knew exactly what it was. For the rest of that night, I could not fall asleep. All those stories I had heard for years had suddenly become very real. I was ready to go back home. So you can imagine after all this how shocked I was when I accidentally walked in on a group of three of my classmates discussing how that was... 100% a prank by the senior students who were just trying to scare the juniors and they were going to follow the sound next time and find out who was behind it. I tried to talk them out of it but they just laughed at me, you know, called me a chicken, called me a wuss. We didn't hear the sound again until a week later and while everyone else was panicking as usual, 
I noticed those three boys sneak out of the dorm. That was the last time we ever saw those students. Till this day, the school claims that they all got moved to a different school by their parents. But I know what really happened, and I'm sure you can figure it out too. I don't know if anyone else has an experience with the bush baby, but if you do, please send me an email at africanhorrorpodcast at gmail.com. I would love to hear about your experience. Maybe I would even tell your story on the podcast. Thank you so much for listening to today's story. Please do not forget to rate and review the podcast on iTunes and any other platform that you do listen to it on, as that would greatly help the podcast. Also, please share this podcast with a friend and subscribe so you do not miss an episode. If there are any other stories you would like to hear, send me an email as well at africanhorrorpodcast at gmail.com. Also, you can reach me on Instagram at africanhorrorpodcasts. Until next week, see ya.